Electron Configuration Diagrams Electron configuration diagrams help us understand how electrons of an atom behave and where they are located and why they behave in certain ways, giving certain elements certain properties. So, we have here an electron configuration diagram, usually called, called an off bar diagram. It shows me electrons, which are represented by the arrows. The arrows go in different directions because they have different spins. Remember, there's a spin quantum number, and this is represented here. This tells us the energy level and the energy sublevel, the orbital sublevel that it's in. So 1s orbital has can only fit two electrons, and there's one, two electrons there. And then we move on to 2s, then 2p. So there are definitely rules and principles that we have to follow so that we can draw accurate electron configuration diagrams. So here, we have to follow the first one, which is off bar principle, which says electrons will occupy the lowest energy level orbital that will receive it. So if the 1s orbital is open, then it will fill up the 1s before it goes to 2s, then to 2p. So 1s, then 2s, then 2p, and you can follow the order so that you can find, so you can find out exactly where that electron is going to go. So basically, lowest to highest energy. Then Pauli exclusion principle says no two electrons within, within an atom may have an identical set of all four quantum numbers. So we cannot have these electrons spinning in the same direction because then they would have the same quantum number and violate the Pauli exclusion principle. So this is why we draw the different spins because they don't have the same quantum numbers. Then we have Hund's rule. Electrons will occupy all empty orbitals in a subshell with single electrons having parallel spins before entering half-filled orbitals. So, what this means is here we have the electron configuration for boron. We have one, two, three, four, five electrons. This is the ground state, the ground state boron electron configuration. Well, how do I know that? Because when I see its ground state, I have to look and see if it matches up with the atomic number, and that means it has the same number of protons as electrons, meaning it's neutral. So boron has five protons, then it has five electrons. But let's say we're doing the ground state for nitrogen. What we have to do first is know that nitrogen has seven electrons in its ground state. So we only have five here. So to draw the other two electrons, what I have to do is fill up the empty orbitals first in this sublevel, in the 2p sublevel, by doing this and putting them in the same spin because we have parallel spins. So here, there's a spin and they're spinning in the same way. Before, let's say I was drawing for oxygen that has eight electrons instead of seven. I have to draw another electron in this sublevel because this can fit six. So I am going to draw that one here with an opposite spin. So I have to draw these electrons f first before I can draw this electron because they're going to move to fill up the empty, let's say, seats before they start sharing a seat with another electron. And that is Hund's rule. So following the Aufbau principle, Pauli exclusion principle, and Hund's rule will help us draw accurate electron Con electron configuration diagrams and help us better understand how atoms bond and understand their properties.